When I arrive to a location, even one that I know well, I don't just start shooting. I first watch and listen. I watch for waves, patterns of land and light. I listen for birds and animals. I believe the concept of mindfulness, that of being present in the moment, relaxed and aware of your surroundings and emotions, applies to meditation just as well as to photography. This may seem like a slow approach, but I can assure you that when I am attuned to the environment, I see things faster and anticipate movement and transitions quicker. Likewise, this mindfulness approach may seem deliberate and dull, but I can assure you it is in fact inquisitive and revelatory. You see, this approach of mindfulness of slowing down allows me to better communicate that which is being communicated to me. And I think the Leica Q2 is an excellent tool to practice mindfulness and photography. It encourages me to slow down, to think and feel, to contemplate depth and position. The fixed 28mm Sumilux lens asks me to move, to dance with the subject, to see it from multiple angles, and to appreciate it from multiple views. And perhaps the greatest quality of the Q2 is that it encourages me to photograph. It is small and light and can be ever at the ready. Its 1.7 aperture Sumilux lens and high ISO capabilities allows me to shoot in very low light. Many of the moments that I would normally pass up, I stop and try. And the image quality and detail even of these mundane scenes is extraordinary, uplifting the everyday to the sublime. If not in photographic art, then at least in enjoyment and endeavor. The Q2 may be best suited for these everyday moments, the moments when we want to feel more connected to the land, to the city, to the people with whom we live, work and play. In this sense, mindfulness and photography are both tools for connection, and I'm all for anything that helps us to connect. The size and simplicity of the Leica Q2 reporter aids in this connection. It's simply not there until it is. It's as if there were no barrier between you and subject. No excuses why you shouldn't bring it along, no reasons why it can't be used. And with 47 megapixels, you can crop and still be confident that you have detail enough to print. Here's an example of an uh, image with a 50 millimeter equivalent crop. Notice the crop lines that appear in the raw file, they also appear in the viewfinder. And here's the finished file. Next, we have an example of the extreme detail capable from the Leica Q2. Notice the stitch work in Naomi's hat. I think that's extraordinary. And the very shallow depth of field coming from the Sumilux lens, as we see in this street photography, the island style. And the Leica Q2 is also excellent for the grand landscapes that you may encounter on your travels or at your home. The Leica Q2 Reporter, all in all, is an excellent camera. And again, I do think it helps with the mindfulness approach, slowing us down, taking in our surroundings first, and then taking photographs. All of the images in this episode were taken with the Leica Q2 Reporter. First, a couple of North Shore locations, then some street art from Poipu, a grand landscape from Waimea Canyon, and finally a few seascapes from Poipu, all on Kauai, my home. All right, that's all I have for you today. Take care, be good, aloha.